What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Satan the Fire Pete, back with another video. We out here messing with a different truck today. I know y'all been wondering where I've been at. I got a little busy, but we back now with another truck. As you see, it got Detroit in it, and it ain't a Pete. Can y'all guess what it is? Got a Kenworth. Big boy Kenworth. Give y'all a little walk around and give you too much. <clears throat> y'all can see the peep in the background, got the motor out, but we we'll have it back together soon. But he goes a little once over it. I'm about to crawl up under here. Now I ain't put the uh, dry shaft back in. I had to tow it home yesterday. It's better to hook them from the back so you don't have to take the dry shaft out, but it was a car in the way, so we couldn't get it from the back. From the front, but this is a T600 96 T600 Kenworth. Good tires on it. Y'all, little walk around. I'll give y'all a more detail one in a little bit. <clears throat> I had that piece of wire holding something up. I had to cut that off of there. But it's a T600. Detroit 60. This engine been rebuilt. Basically a brand new engine. Uh, I'll show you the front a little bit, but basically what happened is I bought a truck for somebody that was getting a, a they had got divorced and they were selling the truck. So I bought it from them. They had just had this motor redone. So today we are here gonna get it started up. I got two fresh batteries if I need them, but hopefully I don't need them. So I got to pull the, the batteries under this cover. Got to pull this cover off and get to them batteries. See if they got any charge to them. If not, then we're going to stick some more on here. Try to get it started, but it's a little quick once so, But like I said, I'm a, I'll give you more detail on when I get up under there and put that um, dry shaft back in. But this is it, though. Ain't nothing special. Gotta get a door panel for this door. But I'm gonna crawl up under here and get the dry shaft back in here so we can get this thing started up. And I'll be right back. All right, you two. I'm gonna see, can we get the dry shaft back in there? I'm gonna see, can I do it from the top without having to get up under there? But I'm probably gonna have to get up under there. It's right here, so I'm see can I stick it up in there from right here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh mother cap it. Missing the cap. Shoot. Alrighty. Well let me clean this off and see can I find that cap right quick and I'll be right back. Hi uh, YouTube, I'm back. Got a cap on it. So can we get it all up in there? Mm. Leave that sit there. Oh, 
ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਫਿਰ Oh my head now. I'm about to go on the other side to see if I can get that one. Probably. There's a 12 inch socket. No, half inch. Half inch. Why well, I say 12 inch? I thought I meant a 12, but it's a half inch. Oops. Might have bumped y'all. I don't know if y'all still can see what's going on there. Sure, I got everything right now. Be right back. All right, guys, got it back hooked up. Got the bolts tightened down and everything. It's good and ready to go. I'm glad it's right there. I didn't have to climb all the way up under the truck. I could do it from the top, so that was good. Next thing I'm gonna do is try to get it fired up. Like I said, I don't know these. I'm sure these batteries probably low, so but we'll try it.
I'm sure they low. Everything come on, but I'm sure they low. Kinda sure, I see. Okay. Cough a little bit. I'm gonna get out and make sure it's getting fuel and everything. I'll be right back at you. All right, YouTube, I'm back. Been out here messing with this thing. I got all the lines checked. I had checked, the, I mean, changed the field filter and everything. It fires. I didn't get it on the, um, I didn't get happen to get it on camera though, but it'll definitely be in the next video. But like I said, this engine's been rebuilt. They said they had put like 16 grand into this motor. So it's basically ready to go. Just need some odds and ends to go on it. You know, I had to get this bumper mounted back up. It ain't nothing though. I'll probably eventually take it off anyway. Put a chrome bump on it. Probably put a vise on it. The reason I got this truck is have something to drive while I work on that Peterbilt. Cause I don't want to rush the Peterbilt. But like I said I'm gonna give you a more detailed view. Like I said, I had to uh got to put door panels on it. Actually the door panels are in the in the back of the truck. I had just seen them. I got this step, the step is in the truck. I'm gonna climb up in here so y'all can get a better look on the inside. He said they had redid the seats. Everything's pretty much chrome down in here. Everything just need to be um everything just need to be what's the name? Cleaned up. Not a bad looking old truck. They got sugar daddy rolling in here. Ain't nobody sugar daddy. Ain't getting no money from me. But it got a microwave and stuff in it. They left in it. Of course, we got to change this. We'll take this mattress, throw it away. Probably get another one. But they go to door panels right there. So I stick those back on soon. I just want to got a little TV over there. Oh, it's an end. Like I said, it go that step. Got to be cleaned up. Our main thing is basically getting it rolled ready right now. We definitely gonna pull that old CV out. Upgrade it for another one. I might do a giveaway soon. I might give a CB away. It won't be that one. I'll probably buy a new one. Once I hit, I'm gonna do, uh, Let's say when we hit the 5,000 subscribers on the channel, I give away, I'm gonna give away a CV. Brand new to one of you guys, whether you got a truck or not, you can get one. But like I said, this is a 96 T600. Big boy, like I said, it's a decent truck. That's my four's age. I'm gonna climb back down, show y'all the rest. That's it, like I said. Eventually, I'm gonna tell you what I was thinking about doing. I might end up moving this tank back or either flipping them around and um, getting a W900 step put right here and put our, and run our stacks down the side of the truck. Get the Peterbilt stacks and run them all the way to the ground. Well, you know, up on the truck. Run them down the hill and um, run them up the side instead of having the one in the back. That's probably what we'll do eventually. Like I said, once I get the Pete running, I'm gonna put a driver on this truck, but like I said, it don't, don't, it's definitely gonna have some good looking trucks on the road. But here it is. Yeah, these lights, I'm probably pop them out and put some LEDs in there. Go on back. Like I said, it ain't a bad looking old truck, guys. It got good tires on it. It's just been sitting a while. Need to be brought back to life. It's just been sitting. But it don't need too much. Well, I got y'all right here. Here's the Peterbilt. Got the motor out, as you see. Just waiting to get another one. Because I actually sold a Detroit I had for this one. Somebody wanted to buy it. So I sold it. And I basically got for the motor what I paid for the whole truck. So of course I let it go, but we probably gonna, I'm probably gonna either go ahead and put another big cam in here. I found a few, but I just hadn't even went and got them yet. 
but there she is, still sitting here. She ain't going nowhere. We still gonna fix her. We still gonna fix her. Still looking the same. Like I said, I still got the cut off. The freight liner is pretty much gone. Everything's going out in the motor, motor trans tanks. Everything's going off of that other that freight liner. I um, but I still got the the chassis. But like I said, we're gonna cut this one off. Gonna cut it off up here. By which crack that, cut it off up here. We're gonna weld on that uh, freight liner air ride on the back. So we have some air ride. Have some air ride. Um, that's that. See the hoods over there laying on it. It's a pallet. You can't see it, but it's sitting on a pallet. And the grass don't grow up around the pallet. So, but the 75 is right here. Still got the 75, and we still gonna put it back on the road. But I'm gonna probably end up rebuilding the engine in here. But I'm gonna buy one already running and sticking here. Like I said, I found a few. I just ain't went and got them yet. But the main focus right now is get this Kenworth going. So when I get this Kenworth going, I can bring y'all some driving videos while, when I'm not working on nothing, I still have something to post. But like I said, I really hadn't been working on that. I wish I had got all the footage of pulling that motor out, but I was working so fast, y'all, and I um didn't really have nowhere to, I really didn't have nowhere to, you know, to, to put, to sit the camera up or nobody hold it for me and stuff. And I was I only had the machine for the weekend, so I had to work fast. So I ended up pulling the motor out of the freight liner and out of this Peterbilt that same weekend. But guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for this one. The next video, this one will be running. So check back, it'll probably be this week. Definitely this week. Definitely be this week. So. If you if I don't get if you don't get one, it probably be probably be by Sunday. I'll probably hold it to about Sunday to post another one. But like I said, well, I got this one to drive while I'm working on the other ones. And uh make some driving videos for y'all. I would get it of you get it of you get the you know video of it running today, but I had to quit working on it because it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna get out of here and please like, comment, subscribe. Continue to watch all my videos. Like I said, sorry I've been gone for a while, but I had to step my hustle up a little bit and was real had been real, real busy to muscle up enough money to go buy another truck. And I had to sit no money for a while trying to find the right one. And like I said, that's when this one came up with the rebuilt engine. So I grabbed this one. So please like, comment, subscribe. And please stay tuned for the rest of the videos and Y'all take care. Like I said, it's all about that Peterbilt Posse, even though we're going to be in the Kenworth. They both pack hard, so it don't matter. But y'all have a good one. Y'all be safe. Keep it between the ditches.